good afternoon everyone i hope you're all well lovely to see you all lots of you on oh my gosh that drive home was a little bit epic let me tell you my gosh i arrived in time thank goodness i hope you're all well it is lovely to see you all it's 7 p.m saturday night what a better place to be than here with me on a saturday night how is everyone i'm going to give it a couple of minutes for everybody to get tuned in are you all having a good chat between yourselves so we've got facebook uk facebook usa youtube htcn got it all going on sunny all day but cold still sunny in somerset can't wait to see how beautiful tony has in store for us to oh dear oh no pressure then stacy no pressure did you all enjoy today's shows um 10 if you want to go back and watch them 10 and 2 some cute little demos in the shows for you there. Just going to give it a minute or two. Look what I've got here. Now, you all know I don't drink, but this is slur. Slaw? Sla. What's it called? Does anybody know? Posh word for it? Slur. It's like a black currant fizzy drink. But it, you know, it makes me look like I'm getting involved. Who's got a glass of wine? Who's got a glass of wine? A cup of tea? A cup of coffee? What we all got? So let's do a quick shout out then, seeing as lots of you have come to say hello. Don't forget to click that share button. I've got some new goodies to show you and we're going to do a little demo today. And I've got a lovely little, a lovely little treat for you all. So treat, a lovely treat for you. Let's have a look. So hi Roseanne, hi Rosie, hi Paul, hi Karen. Hi Kay, hi Christine, hi Geraldine, hi Bernadette, hi Sue, hi Julie, hi Sue. So they've got lots of Sues on. Sue Doherty, Sue Donnell, hi Annette, hi Roxy Lee, hi Kay, hi Caroline Crafting, hi Christine, hi Jean. Where are we all from? Uh, Jan, J Jane's got a bottle of water. Hi Wendy, glass of wine, lovely. You know, I wish it agreed with me. Oh, I only have to have like smell it and I get an instant headache. Then the day after is totally written off. And I mean, I can have um, a gin and tonic, but it has to be very small. I can't like, I'm not one for like, it just doesn't fit with me at all. I don't know why. And never has done. So hi, Angela. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Helen. My gosh, lots of you on today. Hi, Tony and everyone. Uh, are you telling us the truth about your, well... I'll be told, let's see if my demos are straight and then I'll let you decide whether <laughs> it's real or not. But yeah, it's that slur. And they do it in like a black currant and a, I don't know, like a champagne colour one as well, doesn't it? So it makes me feel like I'm taking part. Can of Diet Coke for Joe. <laughs> well done, Tony. You said my surname right. Forest Change. I haven't had a drink. <laughs> Let's have a look on other social media pages then. So we have, hi Kay, oh, sh hi Shirley, thank you so much for sharing. Um, Sh Shirley's already shared, bless her. Thank you so much for your email as well today, Shirley. Is, is appreciated on the show. So hi Valerie, hi Anita, a cup of tea, Tony. Well, I have had a few cups of coffee at work today, well, at TV. So I'm going to get you some no secco. Really? Is there such a thing? Paul, is there such a thing as no secco? Schler, slaw. Maureen says she loves slaw too. Squash for me, Tony. Just thought I'd pop in to say hi. Just waiting for a taxi to take us into town to enjoy my niece's 21st. Maxine, have a fabulous day with your family. Love Niseko, Paul. It's a great drink. I need to get some. Where do I get it? I'm cold, so probably we'll just have a cup of tea. Oh, Donna, get warm. Get a little blanket over your legs and just enjoy the next hour with me. I will continue to cocktails galore. Have a fabulous time, darling. Paul, absolutely. Let me know where you get it from, Paul. Personal message me. So in today's show, I have some little treats to show you. I am going to do a bit of a demo as well, and I've got a super treat for you all. I'm hoping you'll feel like it's a treat, and I'm going to tell you at the end of the show. I've also got the winner to announce from yesterday's show for these items. You know these ones, what I said yesterday, the skyline and the lovely sort of um, postage stamp. I've got the winner's name for that one as well. So um, tomorrow I'm going to announce all of the winners for all of the studios over um, on the brand event. So for Simon's show, 
Sandra's show, everybody's shows, I'm going to announce the winners tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Um, I'm going to announce that winner tonight. So shall we have a, shall we dive straight in? Did you all, if you're tuning in tonight, did you all see the pet new pens from yesterday? Ooh, they are delicious. If you missed the show yesterday, unique concept um, for pens. You need to go back and watch yesterday's show. It was 7 o'clock, Studio 3. Go and check it out because you might be a little bit like, ooh, sparkly goodness. <laughs> Let's have a look. Sue swapped from Facebook. It is the best place to come and be interactive, Sue. So well done. Most supermarkets don't it. Okay. I never even go down the, the, the aisle because, you know, if somebody said to you, here's two bottles of wine, one is £300, one is £4, which is which, I'd be like, mm, that one looks prettier. Is that the expensive one? I don't know. I don't know. So I'll oh, watch the shows, love the shows. Is everyone okay, though? Is there anything I need to know about? Does anybody know anything? So our uh, Studio 3 shows, um, moving forward, because I'm still learning, obviously, all of the tech, because it is like Star Wars in here, I am going to be moving forwards talking about industry news. So anything that I feel like everybody needs to know about, snippets of this, snippets of that, and... Um, you know what's on trend and things like that and any industry news that i find out which i think will be really useful to our crafty friends to my lovely friends on here as well so it, we are going to sort of like have a 10 minute slot in our studio three where we just catch up on what's going on in the industry good and bad because i think it's really useful to keep up to speed it's really useful to see when people are doing good things maybe something's happened in the industry where we all need to be careful like there is currently some scams for craft as well um, so moving forwards, industry news, we're going to cover a couple of things. We're going to talk about brands, specific brands. And um, as promised, it's going to be a lovely studio, but that'll only be for about 10 or 15 minutes. I'm always going to do a demo and I'm always going to try and do something a little bit different to the norm. So over the last couple of Studio 3s, we've done albums, haven't we? And I'm going to continue that theme this evening and tomorrow. But then I've got a sneaky treat for you at the end. Christine says, you need to know you are absolutely brilliant. Oh, that's so kind. Has she been, have you been drinking, Christine? That's very kind, though, sweetheart. Thank you. This is my first time watching a live Studio 3, so I'm looking forward to this one tonight. Oh, my gosh, you're all putting me under lots of pressure tonight. You're all waiting to see what I've got in store for you. Let's show you some new goodies. Don't forget to share. I have a giveaway at the end of this show. So anybody who shares will go into the giveaway. Let's show you some new goodies. First of all, I said to you yesterday, didn't I, about the eraser. So, you know, Helen has been using an eraser to get rid of any fingerprints and things on her work. Well, we've got some stamps by me erasers. And let me show you them. They're so yummy. So we have... Now, you can't buy these yet. Um, I've already ordered them, so I'm not going to do a notify me when in stock when they're gone. They're absolutely gone. But basically, they are an electric eraser. Let's show you. Can we see these here? An electric eraser in three different colour waves. Really inexpensive. Who gets um, fingerprints on all of their artwork? Me. Do you? Do you? Are you guilty? Are you all guilty? I know you are. So basically, these electric erasers, get, whilst the wet... Well, when the ink goes onto your cardstock, like your fingerprints and things like that, if you get the eraser, it rubs it away. It's incredible. It's so cool. So let me show you the, t the colours that we have. And then if you are interested in no more mucky marks on your artwork, then you'll be able to get one when they land. They're due in next week. So you'll be able to see. Now, not the normal colours for Stamps By Me. We always do pink. But I appreciate I do get asked for gents' colours as well. So I've gone more modern on these ones. So let me just get them all out here and I'll show you them. We've got a lovely blue for our gents, but equally, this is my favourite, by the way, the blue one. But I did think, you know, I need to keep my um, lovely gents happy as well. So we have the sort of um, blue. We have the sort of sage and yellow. You need one. Wow, I need that. They're so inexpensive. I can't tell you exactly the price, but they're really affordable promise you they're so affordable and a great piece of kit to have in your stash um, and in your little craft bag um, on the go so we have the white um, like a mauve colour here 
and then the blue I'll just turn them over so you can see so basically they've got the retractable head here so you can make it larger or smaller and in the base here you have all of your refills we will be housing the refills as well you're probably not going to need any more but just in case we do have extra refills as well they are battery powered as well so they're going to require two AAA batteries okay this one is a AAA and as you can see you just hold the button and then take it off and it's just so easy so if you get a fingerprint on your artwork you're just gonna can you hear that it's probably it's probably sending my microphone crazy is that but i think you get the gist they're already on the market um but i felt like we really needed them and as we're doing tools in 2022 although there has been a little bit of upset um with obviously the issues we've had with tv but these are a couple of the things that we've been able to sort out so we have these lovely erasers. Do we like them? Looks better than the one I <laughs> Different colours as well. I really felt like, you know, we need to step away. I know pink is the brand and you all love pink. But if you like the Stamps By Me brand because it's clean and simple, then go for the white. But equally, these are so gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So they are the erasers. Now, obviously, if you're doing your sand tangling, you know, the hoop that um, Sandra did yesterday, quick electric one if you're not great with your hands and your grip you're going to have a whale of a time with that one aren't you so they are the electric erasers let's just move these out of the way and then i've also got something else my chair's too far away let me just pull it in so let me just bring these in here so to come to coordinate and complement we have a desktop hoover now it's not any just desktop hoover though this clears your die cutting plates you know your plates um, with all the bits it hoovers them off and again such an inexpensive tool which is probably going to be on your desk and just get those little pieces up that are so annoying um i wouldn't say these are a need okay they're not a need we can brush our table we have hands to tidy we can grab a normal eraser but I think it's just a nice little piece of quirky kit that you can have on your station should you wish to get pick up that bit of glitter or clean your mats or, you know, rub away those fingerprints rather than a traditional one. And if you're like me, I do like everything. When I love something, I get it all. So if you're like me, you're going to love these. So let's just, oh, excuse me, let's just show you these ones in here then. So they're complementing each other. They coordinate with the erasers. like aliens don't they so cool oh, so you hold down the sort of catchment on the top i'll show you in a second i'll just get them all out so that's the white one which is going to coordinate with your white eraser let me show you like so and then let's see what this one is this is your navy or Ta -da! like like friends Navy, and then we have the yeah mustard, and I'll show you on that overhead. How cute are these? Shared. Thank you very much. I would like one of these as well. They are inexpensive, so they're not going to break the bank. So um, we have the sort of mustardy sort of tealy colour, then the lovely navy, which is so nice, and then the lovely white as well okay so we'll come with this case on the base when you get the packet as well you get like extra attachments as well so you can change the fittings if you want to but equally i don't want to do it on my max it'll send my um microphone crazy but basically you see and it just picks up all of the bits off your glass mat and it's got the scraping they're solid as well these hairs on here don't know if you can hear that and then to stop it, you just press it down, quick release, down, on and off. And this one takes AA batteries. So there we go. So there's some brand new tools for you, due to land any day. So you can just, let me just show you if you want to back. These are great Christmas gifts, aren't they? And you can buy the complementing matching. So you have your white, the sort of um, mustard, and then your navy. Yeah, can you see that there? really cool bits and bots <laughs> we need to come up with a name for them all who's got any has somebody got any names for them all 
<laughs> what a brilliant idea yeah they're just cute little gadgets i guess but if you do want the help on your table absolutely go for it so we haven't got thousands of them but i just think they're a nice piece of added equipment for stamps by me and the colors i've gone for this time totally totally different what do we think <laughs> Tools, tools, tools. I've got it all going on. Let's have a look. These are great, Tony. Oh, that is cool. I have seen the little hoovers before. None like that, though, before. But they're a great, they are a great help if you've got a messy station, particularly if you spill your embossing powder or your glitter, because it just take the lid off and tip it out, and then you're good to go again. Love the Bits Bots. Bits Bots. Adele, what a great name, Bits Bots. <laughs> and I say that when you've had a drink. Love these, this is my favourite. Love, 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 need them. What's your favourite colour? Navy, mustard or white? Navy, mustard or white? Love the blue. Let's have a look. Oh gosh, hi Denise. Oh, hi Denise Rig Rigitano. I hope you're well, sweetie. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're having a lovely day from the USA. Sue has a messy station all the time. Right, shall we do a bit of crafting? I have the winner and I have a giveaway. It seems weird because I really feel like I'm drinking. <laughs> really, it's good. Right, let's just grab my table here. So let me show you what's going on. Right, I'll tell you now what the exciting news is about. Um, well, I think it's exciting and I think you guys will absolutely love it. Mustard, navy, white, navy. Mustard, white, white, navy, navy. Mustard, white. Oh, it's a, it, it, oh, it's a mix. It's a total mix. Normally I get a feel of one colour or two, all three. Great for glitter, Ronald says. Mustard. Oh. Oh. Right. I'll tell you in a second. Hi, Claire. Adele nearly choked. She thought I had a glass of wine. I know. You know, it's so I can feel part of the group. <laughs> Don't put my brush in. I'm not painting tonight. I'm safe. Right, so let's get on with some crafting. Let me grab some bits and bobs. Let me just grab everything I'm going to need because it's, re it's really different. Well, it's not different tonight, but it's just another added feather to your cap for when we are being creative, which is super cool. Navy, navy, blue. Nice. Let's just show you on overhead. So this is the envelope album we made, if you remember, out of envelopes. Can you remember with the belly band on there? This was the tag album we made, where it went both ways. You decorate both sides. So we've done two things. Yesterday we made a pocket page with a sort of vintage closure, which is, um, I'm not sure where that is actually. However, today I'm going to show you how to do a hinge album. Show you the hinge and adhere the pages. Is this okay? You want to see the hinge how i quickly build a hinge for a, an album i can polish hubby's bald head with that caroline oh gosh stop her drink stop her drink <laughs> oh poor husband <laughs> what are you like <laughs> oh it's really difficult to follow all, all platforms there's so many of you on if I miss you, I do apply. I don't do it on purpose, honestly. I do go back and comment, uh, particularly on YouTube. If you comment on YouTube, I always go and try and comment or click a like button, you know, just to let you know I have read your comment. Um, yeah, Elizabeth feels part of the party with black currant and fizzy pot, fizzy water, fizzy wine, no fizzy water. Right, let me just cut this card first before we get into what I'm going to do. So the what I wanted to tell you about was, and it's super cool, mind you. Is it cool for you? I don't know. Yeah, I'll let you decide. So, what I'm going to do is, you're all loving the album element of what's going on over the course of the last few shows here in Studio 3. Now, how's about next Sunday at 7pm, we build a complete album, and I mean like start to finish, so two hours, maybe three, I'm not sure, it depends how long it takes. So next Sunday at 7 o'clock, would you like to do an album with me? And I mean, like, not snippets, not bits where you then take it away and do as you please with it. I mean, build an album from start to finish. Let me know. If no one says yes, 
it's time to pack the game in. Yes, please. Can I have some more yeses? <laughs> oh, oh, Emma's on on Sunday. Is she? What time, Caroline? Is it the same time? Yes, Easter day. Would love to. Yes, that would be fab. Yes, please. Oh, OMG. Yes, please. Don't forget it's Easter Sunday. Yes, I know. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. This is why I've decided to do it. We're doing stuff through the week with Tom, but the weekend we've kept clear. So I just said to Tim, do you know, I want to do an album with my friends. He's like, go and do it. Do what you want. So oh, Emma's on at seven. Oh, I might ask Emma to do six till seven. Do you think she'll change? The problem I have is um, I can't get on at six, but I can get on at seven. I'll have a chat with her. Leave it with me, guys. Leave it with me. So let's just say, for example, seven o'clock on Sunday night love to love to right okay before i get into the demo this is what you're going to need okay you're going to need eight by eight papers a paper pad double-sided if you have it so go and have a look in your stash all you need to do the book with me on sunday at seven is an eight by eight paper pad and a pair of scissors a bit of glue and a scoreboard okay that's write this down write it down write it down so next sunday seven o'clock unless it it might waver by an hour until I've spoken to Emma, but let's just say Sunday and we're going to do an album. Okay, I'll, sp I'll speak to a Carol Ann. Thank you for letting me know, though. She'll be beating me up. She'll be like, you're pinching my time. She won't really. She's so lovely. Right, so is she on here? Is Emma on? Somebody, why is Emma not on? <laughs> it's my birthday next Sunday, Tony. But sounds a great idea for everyone else. Well, you can always watch on Catch Up Anita if you want to follow along later. Emma said yes, Tony. What that she can do it at six o'clock. Oh, Emma, can you do six till seven? Because I can't get on at six o'clock. She'd be like, you just go and get lost, young lady. Who do you think you are? Karen says Emma has just agreed to six o'clock in the chat. Brilliant. Thanks so much, Emma. You're a superstar. Right. Let's show you what I'm doing. So just have a piece of cardstock here. And I have five pieces of eight by eight. This is so easy, guys. So easy. It's just another way of creating an inexpensive project or album for little to no effort. Now, I've just taken these out of um, my Time to Grow papers. Okay. So... Whatever paper pad you have, bring it with you next Sunday. It is better if it's double-sided. I'm going to have to have a look in my own stash, actually, because it's better if it's double-sided, but please don't worry if it's not. Don't go out and buy one specific, because I'll show you ways around if it's not. But if you do have one that's double-sided, that would be brilliant. So I have here a piece of cardstock that is about 8 inch. Now I'm just going to show you how I do an album, how to create a hinge sort of mechanism to create pages so I've shown you how to do the envelope type style one well this is just another way of doing it now so I'm going to get my score tool in fact let me cut it off first so let's go for instance three inch just for an example here so let's put this here so three inch two inch and one inch super easy One inch is probably a little bit too small, but we'll see how we get on. Three, two, and a one. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to create some, like, hinges on here, which are going to allow me to stick my pages to, okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop um, this one in here, and I'm going to do, so this is three, so let's go, oh, let's just go, what shall we go, half? I think that might be a little bit too short. Let's go here. So I'm going to create two. Oh, I nearly cut it then. Did you see that with my blade? Oh, don't cut, don't cut. I want to score. So I'm going to score this side. And then I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to score this side. Come 
can we see here so i've got two hinges super easy then all you do in fact emma did a die very similar to this i think it has sold out though so emma did do a die but i'm showing you a quick cheat on how to get sort of hinges in books if you might know this already i have done it several times before but it's just a super cool way to create an album but i'm just going to show you next sunday we're not having hinges and we're not having envelopes make the album it's going to be the papers that make the album okay just the papers now we'll be able to do it in six by six or eight by eight your choice but it has to be double-sided you're going to need a scoreboard some scissors and tape and glue if that's what whatever your sort of preference is when it comes to um adhering your pages so it's totally your call so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to score down the side of here super easy not too fancy and then turn it around and score down the other side i'm like on my first sheet that i've just done there you know i didn't score them both the same but you know what it did it doesn't matter because you're not going to see the pieces that you fold so oh, sorry i'm actually just doing it and not showing you so here's my second one look so you just fold this up Yeah, well, if you've got Emma's die, you'll be able to do this without me showing you how to do this. Okay, so then what happens is this one sits inside this one. Can we see here? So if you have Emma's die, ignore this sort of quick demo. And the last one is going to sit within, so we just need to get a little score line down one side, which is going to be enough to adhere a page. And then one down the other side. One inch is probably a little bit... Um, too small but I'm gonna go with it anyway because I've cut it so let me show you where this is going oh Julianne Perry said yes please and um, I've decided to do it on this later show as well because of our lovely USA followers so they'll have time to get organized they're not having to get up at silly o'clock to come and join in Oh, Stacey says she's definitely wanting to come and craft along. That is amazing. So you'll be able to have a... Hmm, how's everybody's crafting after they've had a drink? Not sure about that. I won't encourage it, but, you know, just come and have some fun. And if you just want to watch and you don't want to craft along, that's fine. You can craft at your own pace maybe later in the week. But it would be nice if we could all be cutting together, putting our pages in together, wouldn't it? I think it'd just be amazing. So you can see, let me just turn these onto their back side so you can see what's going on. So they're flat on the back, can we see there? So we've got a large, a medium and a small little baby one there. Can we see that there? So what happens then is when you come to... Let me just grab my glue. Have I activated? I, get, I specifically went into work, you know, to get a new glue because the glue that I had at TV was nearly gone. I was squeezing the life out of it. So all you're going to do is on this sort of um, bar here, just going to pop some glue down. Now, there are lots of different ways people do these. They sometimes adhere the pages to the flaps first, or um, they adhere them when the hinge is made. I don't think there's any rules. You just have to go with what's better for you, really. So like so. So I'll give that a second to adhere. And then our little super thin one in the centre. Now, if you don't want to measure, that's absolutely fine. I haven't measured this. Some of the arms on here are longer than the other arm. But, you know, by the time you've bulked out the pages and popped in pockets and pages and things like that, you'll never know. You would never know. So don't put yourself under any pressure to know measurements and things like that. Because I think sometimes the best projects are just when we go for it. And that is exactly what we're going to do next, next Sunday. You see that there? So I'll just give that a second to idea. So we've sort of created this sort of effect here, like, can we see? So all of our flaps on here, make sure it's straight, push it down. And you can create as many pages as you like. There are no simply no rules. So this is our spine of our book here. And, oh, Emma saying her die does fit the 5x7 background stamps. Of course, she did it on purpose. <laughs> Bless you. Like so. And then I've got some 8x8 eight eight papers here. 
these are the time to grow paper so just to show you how it sort of comes together and then all we do is my hinge is a little bit long to be fair but it's fine I'm not over precious about it in fact we should trim it down it is better if it's a little bit shorter than it is a little bit longer because you get the protruding hinge now I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to scissor through all of this now you watch me make a hash so good job I haven't been drinking Adele <laughs> I'm just gonna take away some of the design there there we go And then decide where you want your paper. Have I made it better this time? Yep. So then all you need to do then is take your hinge. Now, we do have dies in store, shaped ones. Emma's got lots of book page shapes and things like that. So absolutely you can build on. But the whole point of sort of studio with me here on an evening is to encourage you to know that your supplies will stretch and you don't have to go out and buy extra things and the things that you have in your stash you keep looking at and thinking and I bought them, I'm not even using them so um, the encouragement really is to use what you've got in your stash yeah you can go out and buy posh if you want to go and create another one but just in studio with me get the bits and pieces that you have in your stash already let's play together and then if you thoroughly enjoy it and then you want to do a keepsake in a theme for somebody else then you can go out and buy themed papers and embellishments and tags and things like that but the whole purpose of studio three for me personally is to give you all have all bought these time to grow papers yeah how many of you have used them yet be honest how many of you actually cut into them you love them but how many of you have used them exactly exactly so if I can give you that nudge, you spent your money on them, let's be creative with them together, hey? Then I am absolutely going to do that. So you can see now, this is stuck to our front flap. Now if this was double-sided, it would be even prettier, but it's not. I don't like to do double-sided papers because I don't like to decide. So let's that's just give that a rub. Let's do a quick shout-out because I just saw two new faces on there. Adele says, no. Sorry, Adele. Adele's been and bought the die okay it is easy Adele <laughs> Sue says she likes looking at hers Sarah I have to check Emma seems to think there might be some left oh dear this is not a selling show <laughs> stop I bet I'm just gonna hide in the glass of slur oh so that's a deared beautifully now let's do our next page so eight by eight and the great thing is I've made my hinge to fit my papers so I don't have any waste so bear that in mind when you're thinking about projects you know if you do a six by six but you've only got eight by eight papers you're going to get that waste however the waste can be used as pockets but just be mindful forward thinking when you're creating your projects because then you're not going to get as much waste so then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my flaps this side so I can see the side of the flap we see here and then I'm just going to pop some glue on here and try and do it so you can see like so and then we'll adhere our next page now I like the edge on this one so I'm going to keep the edge sort of on the edge I'm going to pop it in push it up to that hinge and then just hold it and hopefully it'll stick nicely for me and be good try and get your pages straight and level if you can so I'm just going to move it down a bit so it's in line with my other page hold it in place for a second Julie has not used hers yet well if you're wanting to use them next Sunday with me that was going to it's going to be a fabulous show shall we do a quiz as well oh I've set I've set some off now haven't I shall we do a quiz what shall we do a quiz about So there's our next page and then next one Elizabeth stroked her papers then told them that she loves them and then she's put them away Elizabeth 
Oh gosh, what are we all like? I, I promise you, we are a different breed as crafters, I aren't we? Totally different breed. Now I'm going to try and get it in line. Still waiting for mine. When did you order them, Karen? Or oh, is it recently? Stacey, buying 12 by 12, 8 by 8, 6 by 6. If there's all three there. And that way I get my pockets. I guess that's correct. If you like to buy them all. Some people do. So I'm just making sure it's in line. Push down, push down. And this used a whole of her eye mala pad. So let's do the next one. You can see how easy it is. I mean, it's not, it's not too difficult. Crafty quiz. Oh gosh, Emma's put. Oh gosh, I've set myself up for a fall, haven't I? I did it. I've done it. I've said it now. Crafty quiz. Shall we have a crafty quiz? As well at the same time so hold it in place give it time to grab I don't know what's happened there have I lost my um, signal if you can still hear me I'm sure you can I have lost all of your comments but they will come back in a second I'm sure we did this yesterday Just one second ladies and gents let me just sit, figure out what's going on i need to hold this as well at the same time so i'm going to stay on this camera till i've held this and then i'll figure out where all your comments have gone because i've totally disappeared crafty quiz what shall we have in the crafty quiz what year did things like that I'm not sure so that's stuck nicely so we're on to two more pages and it's starting to come together beautifully so let's pop the glue on this one and just stick it on to show you here look and then like so you're gonna be like I can't believe that in the last two days I've learned so much two days three days sorry you've learned so much about album making whether it's been with an envelope or it's been with a tag or even now just a makeshift um, sort of hinge system <laughs> I'm going to get you all book making I just know it is anybody else loving Studio 3 as much as me I hope so it's so cool isn't it come on come on stick nicely be good be good you could push it that way too And then we've got one more, so I need to just pick another page from our book really quickly. So I'll just bring in, so I'll pick one of the, let's do one of the designs I haven't done. I haven't used this one, have I? So pop this one in. Super easy. So that's that one. Let me just make sure it sticks. Come on. So this is flopping around because we haven't got it in our stabilised book yet but when it will come good just be patient see your design through to the end and then the last one glue on the hinge so the sort of like gusset down the centre there um, allows you to be able to put excuse me pockets and things like that um, you know pack out pockets and 
photos and things like that so that's why we have the lovely gap give you that space to build So I'll just adhere this down and can hold it with my fingers. Crafty quiz. It's a winner, isn't it? Sorry. I keep wanting to peel this off. <laughs> oh. I'll show you in a second then how we pop it into a book. Just one second, ladies and gents. We're just trying to sort out this comments because it's no good if I can't see what you're all asking me. Just one second. There we go. Thank you. And here we go. Are you ready? So this part, let me just make sure that's stuck. Can you see? How cool is that? Super, super easy. One, two, three four five six pages you see so let me just show you now how it would go into a book of some form in fact i don't actually know if i've got cardstock actually big enough but i'm going to try regardless i'll show you how it works anyway so then you get the idea so then you score your card and this sits in the book i haven't got a piece of card big enough because I've done 8 by 8 but it's fine so let me just show you for example and then if you are doing it at home you can get the idea so we know that this space here this one here is 2 inch I believe let's just double check now it's an inch and a half so as long as I do 2 inch spine on here so let's, I'm just going to guess here because the, pay, the cardstock isn't big enough but I'm just going to show you what I mean get rid of the blade so I'm going to score there and then I'm just going to mark with my hand, grab my book, pop it on and then we'll just do one about here. Obviously I'm not going to have pages that are going to cover my book because this piece of card isn't big enough but I don't want to just talk you through it, I want to show you it. It could stick actually, we could extend the front page couldn't we? So then we score on here. And then we start on here. You see here, and then our book sits in that recess of that spine. Can we see that there? Let's do it. And trust me, this is going to be a packed album when you filled it with all of your lovely memories and you can still build on this with your envelope pockets as well so all of the bits and pieces oh that's come up i need to glue that a little bit but all of the bits and pieces that i've shown you over the last two or three days can be incorporated into this book just hold it down in the middle there so you just give it time to grab be patient with it You're all going to be chief bookmakers by the time I've finished with you all. Chief bookmakers. Do it as straight as you possibly can, mind. Move that over a bit, Tony. And let's just pop a bit of glue in here, look. And if you get a splurge of glue, don't worry about it, you know. We're getting papers, we're going to cover it, aren't we? Just give it a hold for a second. I 
still I'll just have a glass of my slur. I'll just have a drink of my slur. Do you know what though? I think if I did have a drink, my crafting would be fabulous. <laughs> Would yours? Do you think if you had a had a good old drink, if crafting would be amazing? I think I'd get better with alcohol. Or do you think it'd get worse? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So let's show you here. Look, pretend the pages are, are long enough. Let's pretend I had a bigger piece of cardstock on here. Thank you. I'll just pop it to the side. Now, we could... Oh, I've got your comments back. Let's have a look. Did you all miss me? Brilliant day. So much talent and so much. Looks great. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Um, it's just amazing, isn't it? So to so sort of like say, for instance, I'm just going on example here. If you don't have anything bigger than a, an A4 piece of cardstock, the way to get round this sort of ugliness here is just to now extend your page to where you need to glue it on. And then by the time you've covered it with your pattern papers, it will be totally covered. Does that make sense? So you can see how it comes together pretty easy pretty inexpensive as well let's have a look have i missed anything i think everybody's good aren't they i don't think i've missed any comments there let's have a look i think it, oh let's just see has it frozen no i'm gonna have to just grab my ipad just one second just one second, let me just see if I've lost you all. Hmm, where have you all gone? What are you all talking about? It's going to kill me. <laughs> all frozen. I don't know if anybody's on. Let's have a look. Let me just click out of it. Oh, fingers crossed you're all still there. Oh, here we go. Have I missed anything? Brilliant demo, Sarah. I think I think I'm up to speed. I don't think I've missed anything. I'm having a little bit of a hiccup here with our technology, which is always the case, isn't it? I don't think I've missed anything. Just talk to me, ladies and gents. Let me know if um, it's still okay. So that's how you extend the front and the rear page, okay? Super easy. And then, obviously, we can decorate our pages, but we're not going to go into the hinge. This is an option for you. If you want to give it a go, let me know. But on Sunday, we're just going to work with some papers. We're not going to have hinges um, or envelopes that are going to put it together. We're just going to adhere pages with pattern paper, preferably double-sided. Now, let me talk to you about some winners and some giveaways. And we'll also do a nice big, on Sunday, we'll also do a nice big giveaway. Not giveaway. We're doing a giveaway tonight. We'll also do a nice big bow closure on our book as well. Okay. So, totally free. All you need to do, you can just sit and watch if you want to. Or you can craft along with me. I don't know how long it's going to take. A couple of hours maybe. Um, but I'll, talk, I'll not do any work ahead of time. All you need to bring is some paper six by six double sided if you have them or eight by eight depends on what you want to do if you have some ribbon brilliant you'll probably be dashing off to get some ribbon out of your stash anyway when um we put it together it's all coming through everybody's still chatting i can't um really see anyway but oh fingers crossed so um let me just show you who the winner of this is so the winner of these two is Ta-da! Jean Hart. Well done, sweetheart. All you need to do is personal message me on social media or info at Stamps by Me, and I will get these out to you this week. And I also have a giveaway for the products of these as well. Can you remember I said I was going to give these away? And there is the other one as well. Um, I'll sign it if you want me to sign it. Let me know. Um, for the products that we've made over the course of the last few days in Studio 3. And I'll pick a winner for anybody who pops a comment underneath this video. So I encourage you to get involved, get involved in the interaction and the chat. But it is this lovely tag album here, what I made front and back, and then the lovely belly band album as well. So all you need to do is pop a comment underneath this video, and I'll do a shout out or a winner. Pick a winner for this one. Thank you so much.
I think we're sorted. I can see comments. It's moving. Thank goodness for that. Let's not talk about the box. I just caught, caught the first comment and somebody put the box. You are all naughty. Yes, so giveaway for this one. I'll do a shout out. The winner for that one is Jean Hart. So I'm with you tomorrow at 7. Okay, I have something else new to show you tomorrow at 7. And I'll show you in little bite-sized chunks new things that are coming through. So you get the first look in Studio 3. And this is a thank you for coming to say hello. And I think that's all I've got to tell you about. Do you like the new little tools? Do you think do you think it's something you'll need? Or do you think it's something you might get as a little gift from one of your crafty friends? That might be probably the path that we need to go down. So I hope you're all well. I hope you've enjoyed this evening. Just another interactive way to create one of those albums with those hinges. But please go and check out the other Studio 3s because they show you so much as well. Show you in depth as well how to get so many different ways in albums, keepsakes, gifts, memory books, whatever it's going to be. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to be back tomorrow at 7 o'clock um, with... Oh, what did I say I was doing tomorrow? I said I was doing something different, didn't I? So we are keeping in the theme of our papers, but we will do something different. But tell all your friends about the Sunday show a, w a week tomorrow, 7 o'clock, totally free. Just come and say hi. So let's just have a look. Thank you. Let's have a look. I just want to do a shout out first. Can't wait for tomorrow night. It's not tomorrow night is the album though. Don't get um, confused. Tomorrow night is not the album. Um, the album is a week on Sunday. Okay. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely afternoon. Well, lovely evening now. It's quite late, isn't it? Enjoy your Saturday evening, guys. Thank you for taking the time to come and say hello. I'll speak to you all later. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye.